All right, guys, here we are today with another iteration of the Buggy Council. This is the Buggy Council playing Inferno deck. So this is a very standard Inferno deck. Like this is, well, this is the like, ancient Inferno deck. This is the OG Inferno deck. But, um... Yeah, so the reason this deck fell out of popularity was because the Inferno takes too long to come out. If you go Rifles, your opponent makes heavier infantry, you have to go Inferno to counter it, it takes too long. The solution to this is to play Buggy, which gives you a lot better early game with these four units. The downside is you are insanely weak to Orca and Shade. Like, any kind of air units, really, you're super weak to them because Buggy doesn't cut it. Like, Bites are way better, and you have to wait until you get Phantom to fight those things. And since Scorpion is expensive, you end up getting delayed on your air tower. Like, this is the other Inferno deck Jack I play quite a lot. And this deck has trouble with heavy vehicles, like Pipples and Tanks, first missile. And again, once the Inferno is out, that's kind of your game plan. But we're doing Steve Buggy Council tail. today. So the Buggy with his best friend, the Scorpion Tank. This two is These two are a really good combination. And yeah, a late game is going to still be Inferno, so... It's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Um, it's obviously a pretty solid deck. It's an Inferno deck. All Inferno decks are pretty solid. As long as they're built properly. Inferno is just really strong right now. I think Inferno is like one of the best units in the game at the moment. Copycat says he beat Shade and Orca first missile several times today. That is surprising. What is the what is the strategy to beat them, Copycat? Is it laser buggy? What's needed? bring them to their knees. So a classic laser opening from our opponent here. This means he probably goes flamers next, so I shall be ready with my buggy and the gun. Oh, he's gone Venom. Uh, I guess we're still going buggy and gun. I'm just less happy about it. Alright, well he just has one Venom and that's it. There's no shade or anything, so... I guess that's a pretty easy first missile. Scarab. Hmm, of course. Silly me for thinking it would be anything but Scarab. Come on, man. Your Venom's dying. Just let it happen. There you go. Just go, go quietly into that. Just go gen gently into that quiet night, my dude. Okay, this guy can't beat Buggy, so I'm just going to make a lot of Buggies. Yeah, okay. Buggy and gun confirmed best. Best unit in game. Oh, that was meant to be another buggy. I was looking at these lasers and I instinctively clicked rifle and I should have clicked buggy. Oh, this guy literally can't beat a buggy. Like, what is going on? Mate, you need to look at your deck and consider your life options if you can't beat a buggy. That is not that is not a thing that you should be struggling to deal with, like a single buggy. Ah, feels bad, man. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. Ah, Boltfire. It wouldn't be a day of playing rivals if I didn't play against Boltfire. He's in a new alliance, though. That's not the alliance he was in before. Uh, I don't really want to walk into his rifles. I think we can probably score. That's probably fine. Mm, I should chill here. I actually baited him into walking into my guy. GG. Now I should win the rifle war. And with the rifle war victory comes the tech switch victory. Get this Cabroni over here. This Hold fire, my dude. You trying to pot cap me? Why you gotta be that way, man? I thought we were friends. Oh, he's walking on my defender's advantage again. I'm okay with keep rifle warring. I don't know what his late game is, but I have Inferno, so. Oh, hello. Just straight into Phantom for that. Now I can dance it back and forth on top of things to try and get the missile to fire. Yeah, there we go. You can abuse the forward raider by like doing this back and forth. If your unit actually faces theirs, so if you're doing it like this. If you get the unit to face theirs, the forward raider will occasionally fire, which is uh, pretty decent. You can you can shoot something that you can't normally get like an angle on by doing that. All right, so we're gonna go for the buggies. Buggies look really good here because he's playing Razorbacks and missiles. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm just gonna send the buggies in. Whatever. 
I've got a scorpion next. I should really be transitioning into Inferno, most likely. That's what I want to do. But against Pitbull, I just like using scorpion. For obvious reasons. I believe I can two-shot a Pitbull with buggy support. Eh, yeah, sort of. Oh yeah, we're definitely going Inferno. Actually, we're going to laser because we're a little bit low on cash. And he boosted that Predator, which is quite a big investment. Put the laser and then put the rifle in. We definitely want to get Infernos though. We're going to send the Phantom over here because he hasn't got a... Yeah, there's a... He hasn't got any anti-air for this thing, so I send the Phantom over and actually win the game. Boost this. Come over here, make sure he doesn't kill my tank. Yeah, go. Goodbye, sweet Bullfire. Goodbye. Inferno life. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective Duh, double. Oh wait, hang on. Dero 007. What is Dero? Chat. What is Dero? Win the initial rifle war. Feels amazing. Up two whole rifle models. That's four Tiberium advantage we have right now. Uh, oh, it's gonna go bikes. I don't have bikes. <laughs> I'm gonna go buggy then. I'm just gonna go buggy. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It wasn't great. It was really bad. Those bikes suck for me. Let's hide the buggy behind some lasers. Until we can afford a scorpion tank. What am I doing? This goes here, this goes here. There we go. Let me get, get Scorpion Tank. Uh, I guess more lasers. We haven't got a great. I mean, this, this buggy up top needs to kill this flamer. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's going to be a problem. Fresh buggy time! Oh, I didn't get blocked. Oh, I'm about to kill the bikes. Oh, he did not. He did not dance on the bottom like he should have. Okay, looks like we're Gucci here. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Feels good, man. All right, now we try and go into Infernos. These lasers are actually pretty valuable because the first thing I want to do when I have an Inferno is hide it behind laser. So I do want to make sure these lasers survive. Uh, Inferno. There he is. And now what we do is we use Inferno to kill things that kill laser. I know it seems counterintuitive to bomb 10 cost units. Oh, he's got his own Inferno, that's not good. But actually, the way to fight Inferno Wars, or the, way, the way to use Inferno, well, one of the ways to use Inferno, the way that I like to use Inferno, is to combo it with laser, and you use the Inferno to bomb things that kill laser. Yeah, our, our Inferno's been stare at each other, I'm okay with that, I got a Phantom on the way. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, oh wait! Boost! Go, 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 kill the tank before the Inferno kills me! Ah, nice. Not the best Inferno micro there from our opponent. We probably should have been able to bomb that Scorpion tank. You are victorious. Lapaka? Oh my god. Here I am trying to get an easy run. Are you running to Lapaka? Opened wheels. Um, probably going to be playing wheel chem, knowing the fact that the chem buggy. Uh, it's an okay matchup for Inferno. It comes down to whether or not the Infernos can beat the stealth tanks. I can actually go double half, I think, against the Packer. I feel like I don't want to do it yet because I'm not 100% convinced on what his deck is. Oh yeah, okay, he has Fanatics, never mind. I was going to say I could go double half and hope he has no air. He still might not, to be fair, if he's playing Inferno. He's playing Fanatics. Fanatics tend not to combo very often with air units. It could be a Fanatic, um, like a Fanatic Stank or something. In which case it would actually be acceptable to go double half. Ooh, whoa, 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 right, that's why the wheels. So we're gonna go Buggy, he's gonna go like Shade or Stank or Scorpion. Scorpion is worst case scenario. I guess also Bikes actually is an obvious thing for him to go. He actually let us on the pad there, although it doesn't matter because our lasers got absolutely shredded down bottom. Alright, yeah, we're gonna lose this missile for sure. Nothing we can do about it. I need to get a Scorpion tank first missile out, because he probably doesn't have a great answer to it. He might have Shade, which he wouldn't be able to switch into first missile. 
but too late now. Oh, I'm shooting the wrong thing. This hasn't gone very smoothly so far. Keep mis-microing mis around the units. Uh, but, uh, if he does have shade, it's gonna suck. If he doesn't have shade though, then Scorpion Buggy could be really good. He has Inferno, yikes. This will go Phantom. Ooh, got a lot of damage there. I'm actually gonna boost this and try and... Oh god, I didn't see the lasers. <laughs> I didn't see the lasers! Maybe Defensive Buggy can... Alright, nice, we got it. Uh, now I need to hold these pads though, and I'm pretty broke. Another Inferno would be a huge issue here. In fact, I might just be dead. Uh, the boost saves us, I think. Yeah, the boost saves us. Okay, nice. Good job, Osana. Uh, what do I do now? I kind of want to make my own Infernos, but then I guess we get into an Inferno war, which isn't ideal. Maybe that's fine. I'll take a I'll take a bike, Holly. My scorpion can finish off the bikes. Oh, big deal. There's an uh, stealth tank, no surprises there. I really need to not bomb these uh, bikes actually. No, oh, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Right, okay, I think I just lost. I think bombing those bikes is game over. Yep. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I've got my own guy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I need this Inferno to reload, I don't think it's going to reload in time. Oh, maybe! Shoot this, shoot this! Oh my god, am I going to do it? Ah! Insane! Insane! Alright, I'm going to take a break after that. That's way too much effort. Alright, Magma. What do you got for me? Laser opening. I'm missile opening. I'm okay with this. Probably going shocks now. Rifles? Why would you open... I guess you're like convinced I'm opening wheels if you open missiles. The thing is, it's so bad now. Like, I'm so far ahead in the rifle war. He's just gonna have to tech switch. Because he has this random missile because that does nothing. Yeah, opening like opening rifle against wheel is kind of annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. But opening missile against rifle is horrendous. I'm gonna actually get a buggy because I expect him to go into air. This seems like the only thing he can really possibly do. Well, looks like he's just gonna lose the missile. Well, that's another thing he can realistically do, I suppose. Yep, there you go, there's air. I was expecting. I'm gonna just back up this buggy, I don't wanna get shot. See if I can bait the shots in the water. He actually chose to shoot my rifles. That's pretty surprising. Yeah, buggy might be in trouble. He's still getting some work done, given how low hit points he is, that's kind of surprising. I really want to get my Inferno out. Okay. I'm going to start making lasers to go with the Inferno. Put the Phantom on there. Is that a hammerhead? No. I really don't want to bomb these rifles and hit my own unit at the same time, that would be not ideal. 
Alright, I think we've probably, probably got him here. Nice! Did lose the fan zone, but that's okay. He probably feels bad, but you know, there are casualties in a war and that phantom was one of them. Ah, details. I believe details plays Chuggy, so I actually want to score. Never want to charge against Chuggy because then it comes out right at the end. The timing lines up that it comes out right around the end of the first missile. Unless he's changed deck. One pipes first. Okay. Yeah, I think pretty sure he's gonna chuggy me. So I want to stall and get to my tank. Yep, there it is. We have to go tank. We haven't even got bikes, so we just literally have to AFK and kill tank basically. It's just like it, normally I would say make units until you have the money for the unit you actually want. But against something like a chuggy, you're just throwing resources away because lasers get so shrecked by it. I will make lasers now that I have the tank to defend them from the Chuggy because I don't want to just fight fights all day with uh, with tank. I'm gonna move these lasers up to block his uh, in incoming laser. Yeah, trying to get the missile here. And now we just like guard our laser with uh, with tank from the Chuggy. It's a tick tank. Definitely want Inferno here. Yeah. And there goes my tank, kill fast. Alright, so we're gonna go Inferno and we're gonna spam lasers. Banshee, uh, not too worried about Banshee, honestly. Not sure what his anti infantry is apart from the Chuggy, it looks like it might just be Chuggy. It's pretty rough for him. Good Inferno. <laughs> Today, please. Oh my god. He doesn't really talk here, man. That missile was a bit of a mess. I thought my laser would kill his bike down south in time. Man, I hate Chuggy so much. Alright, oh, we got him. This tick tank has been off the pad the entire game. Objective complete. Do you think swapping Scorpion for bikes may help Inferno faster or do something slow like trying to play this deck effectively? Well, like I said at the start, it was Wizard. Um, the Scorpion for bikes, oh sorry, yeah, the Scorpion for bikes is literally the Victor Bansom or Inferno deck. So yeah, it works fine. It's definitely a viable approach. It just changes what you're weak to in the early game. Like, if you're playing the Buggy and Scorpion, then the Inferno is like your primary um anti anti like heavy infantry unit if you play the bikes instead then it's your primary heavy anti vehicle unit because then you don't have the scorpion to fill that role also the buggy becomes like your anti air like your early anti air which makes you a lot weaker to strong uh air to ground units like walker I'm just, you're just gonna go buggy here. I think that it changes the playstyle of the deck as well because, like, with the Scorpion, you're a lot happier to go buggy early. You don't really want to go buggy early with. We uh, don't want to go like bikes early. Oh, that, that drill bot is probably gonna kill me. Mm. 
I bought myself some time here. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't fight the drill pod, because even though I have a buggy to counter, it just takes too long to kill off the extra unit. So he just wins the missile because he has an extra unit basically. That's why Seth is good, because you just get an extra unit, and then uh, you normally just win the missile because you have an extra unit. Even though all of his stuff lost to my buggies, like 1v1, I just didn't have enough buggies in time. Alright, here's a scorpion, so we're also gonna go scorpion. Really wanna go for the infernos now. Laser squad. Weapons charging. We will not yield. Unit ready. 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 Unit Dude, shoot the tank! I think we're gonna be okay because of the boosted inferno. We're gonna kill this tank and we're gonna kill these lasers. And then I think we should win the missile from there. Yeah, no, it's pretty close though. So we up the inferno. And then start spamming lasers again to defend it. The venom's gonna be a problem because it beats the lasers. And doesn't die to the inferno. Might need a buggy to have a cheaper answer to the uh, the rifles. Another inferno. Might make a phantom next. I need to lose this guy so we're walking into the fire. Uh, yeah, we're gonna phantom. I don't know why I moved that inferno down there. Oh, the Seth is a problem again. Okay, I think we're gonna get it. Looks pretty, we look pretty strong here. Yeah, nice. Whew. A little bit tricky. We're good, we're good. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective available. Alright. Harvester ready. Some rifle start versus rifle start, pretty classic rifles opening. I'm gonna have to back up when his second rifle comes out. I'm gonna get 2v1. Actually, didn't make a second rifleman. That is a little weird. I will push him. Oh, snipers. Yikes. Alright, we're gonna go straight into the buggy, but this time we will make rifleman until, uh, until we can afford the buggy. Because the rifleman can still contest stuff. Now we're going to transition into buggies. Buggy, Went second sniper in response to my buggy. <laughs> Not sure that was the play, mate. I'll be honest with you. I think second sniper in response to buggy was not where you wanted to be. Alright, buggy and gun. Once again, the OP combination. The buggy and the gun. Taking down the missile. Bringing glory to Nod. Overthrowing the GDI oppressor. The tyrant. The sniper tyrant. Let's get a scorpion for this pitbull. I probably shouldn't have thrown away all my buggies, but whatever. I was feeling pretty confident. Come here, pitbull. I want to be your friend. More snipers. Scorpion is actually one of the best counters to snipers. Weird though it sounds. Because what happens usually is people guard their snipers with pitbulls. And sniper uh, pitbulls die to scorpions, but do not die to snipers. So scorpions don't die to snipers. So you can kill the pitbulls surrounding the snipers with scorpions, and then you can just keep shooting the snipers with the scorpion until he dies. 
That's actually a legitimate strategy. You'd be surprised how quick these snipers go down to pretty much everything. Uh, on this. Let's start making lasers. And then he's gonna go sniper, and I'm gonna try and bomb it with the inferno. Any day now, sniper. No, you don't rifleman. Okay, I'll bomb those instead. <laughs> now what, my friend? There's the sniper. I'll we'll go bomb that as well. See ya. Um, Inferno will be. I genuinely think Inferno is like one of the best units in the meta game right now. You are victorious. Try sec again. So we know what he's gonna do. He's gonna open rifles into snipers, probably. We'll just do the same thing we did last time, go into buggies. If he remembers the opponent, then he should know I'm gonna do that, though. Gonna back away for now. I want to keep these rifles alive so I can push them in with the buggy. Because that way I have something to attack these missile troopers. Oh, that turret is super annoying. Um, yeah, that's a problem. I guess we have to go around it. Let's just walk up to these snipers. Yeah, this turret is actually a huge issue. This might win the missile. Oops, I think it was my back. Oh, oh, I'm back. I don't know if it's going to be in time. Oh my god, that was so close. I actually need to send this one middle. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, he just surrenders. Golem! Golem, boys! Objective complete. Alright, Delta last game. This guy's pretty good. Um, I think he plays Fanatics. Oh, he plays like a five card deck with Inferno, like a Fnatic Stank with Inferno, I think. I might be getting him confused with someone else though. But I feel like he plays Rifle Laser, Buggy. I thought he had Wheels, actually. I thought he was Wheel Rifle, a uh, Wheel, like, uh, Stank Inferno. Although I guess the new patch, people are probably changing their decks. He definitely has Inferno. I'm like, almost certain of that. That's definitely like my spider sense is tingling and telling me he has an inferno. I just messed up that micro and now I'm gonna lose the rifle war. Uh, I should have switched to buggy here, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it as soon as I can. There's the buggy. He's gonna probably go bikes. That's okay though. If he goes bikes, we're happy because then we can go scorpion tank. I wish buggy had free vision. Oh, he went scorpion tank. That's that's not so good. I'm not so happy about that one. Oh, my God, Scorpion, my God. Now he's doing laser, what a coward. What a coward. Alright, we got the rifles in, that's good. I'm gonna block out. Oh my god, he has buggy as well! <laughs> I wonder if we're playing a mirror match. Alright, this is going fine. Yeah, we'll let him walk on. We don't need to, like, we don't need to be too aggressive to try and win this missile. It's better to make good trades at the moment. Okay, now we want to push and block this tank, because if the tank gets on, we're in trouble. Alright, nice. See, that's, we timed the push. We timed the push and block such that we didn't just throw resources into that buggy and manage to take the missile. I don't really want my tank to take hits. I'm actually going to back it up and get the healthy tank in front. Dude, he keeps getting pot shots on my tank. I'm just gonna go Inferno. Oh my god, he's actually tracking me in this Scorpion mirror. He just keeps getting pot shots, tanking with other stuff. I can't shoot. Uh oh. Laser. <laughs> Did my Scorpion not shoot again? <laughs> Dude, I got so wrecked in this Scorpion fight, it's actually insane. 
Oh, interesting. He went double scope. I think that's a mistake. Because I have this Inferno. Can I kill a... I don't even know if I can kill a Banshee with a two-man laser squad, even with boost. It's so slow. It's so slow. I'm going to block his Banshee out here. We're going to go over here. Yeah, nice. Got him. Alright, Deese. Deese last game. I enjoyed that one. I got kind of Shreks on the Scorpion War, but the Infernos was what mattered, so it didn't really, it wasn't, it wasn't relevant. It looks like he didn't have Inferno. I was way off on what his deck was. Like, I had absolutely no idea what his, uh, what his deck was. It looked like he was playing like a reasonably standard, not aggro. I don't know what his last unit was. His last unit was Widow, of course, Widowmaker. Yes, Delta plays Widowmaker. That's, that's what I was remembering. I knew he had something funky going on. All right, there you go, guys. A little bit of Inferno action with the Buggy Council. The Buggy Inferno Council. Um, deck is a lot better once you add the Inferno. <laughs> like all these Buggy decks we've been trying. Buggy Scorp is the combo. I think it's really hard to play Buggy without Scorpion. And then Inferno is just super strong. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed some more Inferno action. I'll see you next time.